lab focuses on prehistoric and experimental archaeology. We recreate people's past lives based on uh, their material culture, their artifacts, um, their settlement patterns, and, and things we dig up out of the ground. But what makes our lab really unique is the focus on what we call experimental archaeology. And um, when we find an artifact and we want to understand how it works, the best way is to, to use that artifact. Uh, we actually make replica artifacts here. Um, and why that's important is just that we can't use real artifacts uh, in our tests because those are priceless. Um, but the replicas we make are not. And so what we can do is uh, we can make stone arrowheads to fire and, and break in as many ways as we need. Flint napping is the, the process of making stone tools uh, through the act of flaking or chipping. Um, there's not a lot of power involved. Um, basically, you will strike a piece of flint or chert or obsidian, any rock that breaks like glass. It, it takes years to become a, a good flint napper, and, and my, myself, I've been flint napping now for about 15 years. Um, but it, it's really re rewarding, because once you know how to do it, you can generate the data samples that you need for tests. Um, on top of the fact that to be able to walk into a bar and say I make stone weapons is, uh, is pretty cool. <laughs> the experimental room in our lab is a, a really unique feature um, for any archaeology lab, not only in North America but you know, the world, uh, to have a dedicated room um, that has a, a, a kiln for pottery firing, uh, a pottery wheel, industrial floor for butchery or stone tool making, as well as an entire ballistic setup. Right now we're just firing into a fresh potter's clay, but we could use carcasses. Um, we can fire this at bone to see how strong some of these things are. Not only can we test weaponry, but we can test the efficiency of knives, we can test how strong pots are. So basically, any aspect of uh, archaeology in the world, uh, we can recreate in the lab and study it right here at Kent State.